What's going on, guys? So yesterday was a pretty big day. Jedi Joe, you know, we talked about the Acolyte yesterday. I posted my review. Make sure you guys check that out. Also, if you guys are interested in checking out some of my other reviews, um, I, I, if you want to find, I have my links. If you want to find my actual movie reviews, I have Letterboxd. I have, you can follow me on X as well, so we can actually chat about movies, TV shows, lots of group chats, all my favorite things. And are interested in joining and advancing more podcasts. And we're going to have a lot of opportunities for a lot more people in this community. I want to interact with you guys more. I'm thinking about starting an Acolyte support group. Where we can do like a positive spin on the Acolyte. Maybe even do a Star Wars specific Acolyte podcast. Where we can talk other Star Wars things. But specifically center around the, the, the Acolyte. Because I'm just seeing the negativity. And I want to see more positivity. And more positive vibes from the people. I really enjoyed some of the interactions I had in my watch party last night. So let's talk about it, guys, now. So right before the Acolyte dropped on Disney+, Plus, we got massive news from freaking Deadline. And you know what it means when, it's, when, when a news article comes out from freaking Deadline. It's damn good news, my friend. So what this means is... So the news that we had, so we've been hearing rumbles with, with the whole Jonathan Major situation. What's going on with Kang? Which we'll talk to you later in the video, but specifically with Kang kind of out of the picture for a while and not knowing where things are going to go, what's Avengers 5 going to look like? Well, according to this Deadline article, we should expect more than 60 MCU returning and new characters appearing. So that means, so we'll go down the list of who I think is going to be in this movie. But here's the thing. We, they, they, they list a number of characters that I think we already expected to appear, but there are some surprises as well. So they said, expect Shang-Chi. Uh, but also the biggest thing is, not only is this going to be 60, are we going to have 60 characters in this movie? They're saying that these 60 characters, it's not going to be like in the first Avengers and the second Avengers. This movie's going to be more like an ensemble. Like, this is going to be the next endgame, baby. Like, 60 more characters. They said, expect Sam Wilson. Expect Doctor Strange. Expect Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man specifically. I think Deadpool and Wolverine will also show up after the stuff with, with Feige. Shang-Chi will be there. Even Loki's going to be there. So we might get to see Loki and Thor are present. So we might finally get that Loki and Thor reunion that we've been wanting to see. So throughout this video, you're gonna, I'm going to have different clips of the different Avengers crossovers throughout this video. But... Let me know what you got, who do you want to see the most miss, and also, what do you guys think about sixty characters? Do you like that this is going to be a big assembly? I love this. I think this is the best thing to do. But here's the best thing: not only getting six, not only according to Deadline, are we getting sixty or more characters in this big Avengers movie? There's said to be multiple antagonists, not just Kang. So you could have multiple villains going up against these great heroes. Which finally they're doing something. We had Ultron, we had Loki. They all kind of stood on their own. We had Thanos. Thanos had an army. This could be the closest thing we get to a Masters of Evil in the MCU. And I want to see this, whether it's Kang and Doom, other villains, maybe Baron Zemo. I don't know what they'll do, but I'm really intrigued by what they're going to do here. I think Marvel's got a win on their hands. And the best reason why we were talking about this news is not only are we going to get more than 60 characters and as Avengers 5, which we still don't have a title for, and Kang's getting planned on recast, which we covered in our last video. So make sure you guys check out that Kang video if you haven't already. But... Here's the big meat and potatoes of this whole thing. Sean Levy, who directed, who has directed movies like The Atom Project, Episodes of Stranger Things, one of the most beloved TV shows of all time, um, also directed, um, uh, not free, not Fall Guy, but Free Guy. Y y you know Free Guy, right, with Ryan Reynolds? Don't have a good day. Have a great day, right? So... So expect to see... So this guy is a genius. He loves working with Ryan Reynolds. He also directed Real Steel, if you don't know. And ugh, Real Steel is chef's kiss. If you guys have not seen robots, boxing robots, fighting robots, you got to see Real Steel. So I got a lot of confidence in the fact that... Because apparently, we've been wondering who's going to direct Avengers 5 and Secret Wars. So here's something we got to discuss. I think Secret Wars now needs to be... You know Infinity War and Endgame, Endgame were split up? Like if you look at Infinity War, it's kind of a part one to Endgame. They need to make Secret Wars Part 1 and 2. But here's the crazy thing. is I'm going to throw a prediction for you guys about what the title is going to be for Avengers 5 
with this big ensemble announcement. So in order to break down the title, we got to go over to every Avengers movie so far based on the storylines to expect. So Avengers 1, just called The Avengers. Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, because it's set up Ultron. Avengers 3, Avengers Infinity War, just like the comic book. And then, of course, Avengers 4, Avengers Endgame. This will be Avengers 5. Avengers 5, I believe, if you guys don't remember in Thor Love and Thunder, we introduced the char- the, the uh, celestial being known as Eternity. And we dipped into a little bit of Eternity in, in, the, in more of the Celestials in the Eternals. So I think that Avengers 5 is going to be Eternity Wars. I know people are like, why are we going to go from Secret Wars to Eternity Wars? Well, dude, it's just all about the wars at this point. I mean, I can't wait to see some of our favorite characters interact with the new characters. This is going to be perfect setup for the variants. Like, imagine that this movie, like, we probably won't see Tony Stark return in this movie yet. Or we might, but maybe, but we know Scarlett Johansson, Tony Stark, Chris Evans, they're all going to return very soon. This could lay the ground for that. The, the incursions could go crazy. We could have a battle with Kang and all these other villains. And you can have it be a truly amazing assemble. Like, you know, the one thing that you're going to see in this video is when I heard the news of more than 60 other characters, there's a couple clips that, 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 that. If what you've told me is true, you will have gained. You need to go on this video. First of all, if all you've told me Yes! We know each other. He's a friend from work. You have gained my trust. And also, you remember Thor from Ragnarok? We know each other. He's a friend from work. Yes! Right? Like, it's so Sean Levy directing Avengers 5. What do you guys think about it? Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think about more than 60 different Avengers characters? Who do you want to see in this movie? I want Shang-Chi. I want Daredevil. I want fucking Moon Knight. I want... Give me everyone in this bitch. I'm going to be in this... Like, look, I know they did a lot of great marketing for the Deadpool Wolverine popcorn bucket, but this popcorn bucket, they make better be more like a cake. Like, they better make like a double-decker cake popcorn bucket. And I want every layer. There's a character. There's a character. And the cups, make those like super-sized cups with all the different sides of the characters back like in the Revenge of the Sith days. But anyway, guys, my thoughts on this is I'm loving talking about the MCU again. I'm super hyped about this news. I can't wait to see what happens. I'm, I'm super... I know Deadpool and Wolverine's going to slap with the fact that you have Sean Levy directing that one, and they love him so much that he's going to direct... that he's probably going to direct Avengers 5. So much to the point that, like, when he, he originally turned down doing Avengers 5 when the schedule was said to have it come out sooner. But once he finished Deadpool and Wolverine... Once, he, once he's still finishing Stranger Things, they said they're going to adjust his schedule so he can direct it. So I think there's a good chance he's directing this movie. What do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts. I hope you have a marvelous day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Woo!